What's up guys, Sarah and Benz, I'm here for another video. As usual, I'm here with my good friend Ty. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and help me grow this channel. If you're coming back, thanks for watching and supporting. Today we're going to be covering a subject that a lot of people have been asking me to cover, which is the Deep De La Hiva Guard. I've made some videos in the past about it, but I wanted to dive more in depth to that, so let's just get right into it. So, I personally play more of a shallow De La Hiva for the most part, and the reason that I do just to preface this is because it's more accessible. So why is the De La Hiva such a popular guard? There's a couple reasons. One is that Ty rushes me and pushes me down and I can very quickly throw a De La Hiva hook in. I don't need grips, I don't need anything. Just putting my foot somewhere in between his knee and hip or on his hip and my other foot as a shallow hook, I'm able to slow down his pass. Then if I can supplement that with an ankle grip or a pant grip or wrapping it, there's a bunch of different variations. They all do the same thing. I stop this lead leg from cutting through, kicking back, and doing a bunch of passes. So it's so easy. So that's one reason. Another is because a lot of people step in between your legs to get into this passing position. And unless you're comfortable in the seated guard or the shin to shin, it's very easy to just fall back and the hook is already there. Okay, so that's the reason I play the shallow De La Hiva more than the deep De La Hiva because it's more accessible. It's something that I can do quickly and I can slow down the pass very quickly. The deep daily heave is very good, and it works just as well. So to each his own. I just think the shallow is easier to get. So how do we get into the deep daily heave? Let's imagine we fell into this position. I have my daily heave hook. For those that are new, the daily heave hook goes to the outside of Ty's right leg, my left leg, and I hook the inside of his hamstring. My right foot can be anywhere in between the knee and the hip. There's different reasons to, pu to put it towards the knee or towards the hip, so I like to just find a happy medium initially. My grips are typically always me personally, going to be the ankle or the pants or a wrap. Again, all serving the same purpose, just controlling this lead leg, okay? And then my second grip is going to be on the collar. Typically for me, because I have monkey arms, if I'm being honest, I'll hug the leg tight. Why am I doing that? I'll change the angle in a second. When I just grab the ankle, there's space between my elbow and my ribs, which will allow Ty to start digging for underhooks, which can be a huge problem. So typically I'm going much deeper and kind of just hugging his calf or going all the way to like my own hamstring. I get his cross collar. I do the cross collar just to break his posture. So to enter into the deep De La Hiva the way that I personally always do it is I use my opponent's leg as a leverage point for me to lift my hip. So how do I lift my hip? I use my foot on his leg to lift, okay? I also use my collar, okay? So I'm here like this. Now what this allows me to do is it allows me to shoot my hook through deeper. If I tried to do it right now, it would be very difficult. But if I'm able to lift, now I can get my hook much deeper. Now, when I play the deep De La Hiva, again, me personally, this doesn't mean it's right or wrong, as soon as I get my deep hook across, my other hook comes to the inside, and I always play it as a deep De La Hiva X. From the deep De La Hiva X, we're able to off-balance him any direction, and that's the beauty of the deep De La Hiva. I can take him to my right, to my left, forward and back, right? So I can go this way, come back up. I can bring him this way, come back up. I can bring him to me, or I can start to extend him, okay? So today we're not even gonna do a technique. I always advise people when they first start to play the deep De La Hiva, just understand how to enter into the position, how to control the position, and then how to off balance every single direction. So again, one more time, we start in shallow De La Hiva with a cross collar grip, always a nice collar grip. My favorite way to put this is you want Ty to think he's got a kettlebell attached to his neck. Closing my elbow, turning my forearm up, pulling him down. Left hand on the ankle. I'm going to use his leg as a leverage point for my, my hip elevation. If I'm unable to do that, don't be discouraged. You can use the mat. You have to be more careful when placing your foot on the mat because it allows your opponent to have various opportunities. But you can use the mat and you can go deep. If you notice that simultaneously as I throw my leg to the other leg to hook a deep De La Hiva, I turn onto my shoulder. So look, if I use the mat, I turn onto my shoulder, okay? If I use his leg, still turning onto my shoulder. Now, as soon as I get there, I go to that De La Hiva X. Once you get the De La Hiva X, learn how to use the collar to help push him to the left, pull him to the right. So again, we can push him to the left, he comes up, I'm using my hooks too. I'm turning my knees. It's very hard to see. It's something you have to feel. And then I'm going to pull him to the right. I can pull his ankle a little bit too. Here. Okay, he comes back up. I can also pull him into me. So use the collar, ankle, and your hooks. 
Again, my hooks are doing this, guys. My right hook is pulling out right, my left hook is pulling left. I pull him into me by drawing my knees to my chest, then he comes back up, and now I just extend. Now all this leads into various attacks, right? I can start to go for different back takes, overhead sweeps, different things. But that deep tail heave is gonna allow you to have a lot of leverage on somebody and allow you to move them in different directions. So this is just an introductory point. Let's uh, show a different angle real quick just so I can explain why I like to go deep on this angle grip. So I said earlier, I don't typically do this because if Ty starts to dig the underhook, digs the underhook, and he starts to get low, this sucks. Really sucks. So typically for me, because I have monkey arms, I like to be here to try to close that space. Then I can lift come through now because he's farther from me i can just grab the ankle and we get here into this deep daily heave x where we're going to open a bunch of different opportunities so guys that's an introduction and entry to the deep daily heave a couple control points for you guys to run with thanks to my good friend ty do not forget to hit that subscribe button guys if you're new here hit that subscribe button we've gotten over 300,000 video views and we're over 4,000 subscribers but it should be more so help me spread jujitsu Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff. Well, guys, thanks for watching.